Wow, that was close. <laughs> really? Going back to two morons garage. That's like guys. really close, buddy. Yeah, that was a bad. What are you trying overall. to do? So this is the Leo is smart, or you know, that's a Q. But if you cover up the part of Q, it's the Leo is smart. <laughs> Cooper gave me this actually. It's a really good thing of him to do. Nice friend. Listen, today is a day of typhooning. There's wind in the is air. It? You can hear it. You can feel it. It's time to get this sucker out. There's no wind out there. It's beautiful outside. Well, there's about to be coming oh. from this damn typhoon, son. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to fix this thing up, uh, get her in ship shape for, you know, maybe going down to Florida, maybe visiting someone that you've seen before in Florida, maybe also making it uh, owned by someone else. Uh, we'll figure that out briefly. But we got some things to take care of. First of all, radiator cap, junk. Frank told me that because of this. I'd trust him implicitly. Also, this coolant line is cooked, just like the one on the Cyclone. Yep, same thing. Yeah, remember when I lost Ooh, to that Audi? She's got some steam. Let her have it. I that was that. completely the reason why. There was no other reason why, not including my driving skills or anything. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. So Frank, I think it's time to take this sucker out, put some fresh gas in it, you know, get her out on the streets, see if she makes some boost. Uh, yeah, get some radiator cappage. It's got to get a redemption. What do we, need? we need a battery, probably. This battery. We need, we need some redemption too, though. The Magni. Magni. The, mag the, the Magni. The Magni. The Neil Magni. Did some, did some hurting on it. Oh, uh, so that's okay. Tune up. That's okay, dude. I think she's good. Let's uh, start this sucker up and get the heck out of here. Hmm. Well, ES 5000. <laughs> Is that enough juice? I don't even know. 1500 peak amps? Wow, that's hardcore. I think we should get a new battery too. This is a Duracell copper top, but three year warranty, 820. It's past that. So we'll <laughs> see if she runs. See if dude. she gets her lit. Look at, dude, look at this too. Sucker's got like a fake old Viper alarm. Ooh. With a hair on it. Yeah. All right, please. What are you looking at? Are you trying to sneeze or what? I'm talking to the typhoon gods, brother. <laughs> typhoon gods. I don't know. Frank! Oh! <laughs> How did that start, dude? <laughs> I have no idea. This means good stuff. How did that start? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know if this is an aftermarket window or what's going on here. PGW tempered gloss. Pretty good window. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, I got some stuff here. Frank, you want to zoom in? This is what you'd call garbage. Okay, okay. and this is part of the things that we need to fix on this vehicle before she goes down the road. Okay. So, tailgate, great, no problem. Awesome tailgate, whatever. Also, okay. this thing has been repainted and they did a great job. You can't tell that it's right. been sitting inside of Frank's smoke factory for the last four months, but it's dusty in here. And you get her out. So this here causes squeak sounds of unimaginable annoyance levels. Huh, I don't know. So yeah, I think we need to fix that somehow. The tape wrap, not great. But right now, she'll have to do. So we just need some more tape? I don't know. That's not a long-term solution. Also, this is not registered. Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, they don't worry about that stuff anymore. Okay, well, I've gotten pulled over for not having registered cars recently. I got pulled uh, over in a Maggie with no trailer plate. You, no, no trailer plate. No. no problem. Okay, this is Hemlock. Anyway, all right, let's go to O'Reilly's. Oh, sunlight. You show them the driveway we have to go through? Actually, it's just a... It looks bad, but it's not. No, it's bad. It's just really... It doesn't feel good to wash the car and then to come back here, but we gotta get all the dirt off this thing. Like, it's bad, dude. Yeah, out in the sunlight, you can really tell. Yeah, get in here. Let's go. Magnets, how do they work? ICP once asked this question, they don't know. In magnets, how do they work? Uh, but what people do know online... You mean, Fago? You referenced that in the last video. There's a lot of ICP references stuck in my brain. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, the Magnus one's also one for all you ICP fans out there. So over here, you can see we have a gauge that is flipped. Okay, it says I have negative 20 pounds of oil pressure. 
which doesn't make any sense. And then you can apparently come in with a magnet and flip it. So I, that doesn't do Probably not with the... Uh, it's literally... The, no, the towel's doing nothing. And you're not going to want to scratch that. Yeah, hell no. I mean, I'll come in very lightly. What the... What are they talking about with magnets? I ain't moving any one of these. All right, that... <laughs> That must have been so someone could see me playing with a magnet. Anyway, very weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this. Yeah, because it's not road. magnet. It, well, what do you mean it's not? It's, it's not, not metal. Not, it's, not metal. I should say. There's got to be metal in there. That's how they work. It is bright out here. Oh, look what I found. What do you have? My last pair of Glamis sunglasses. The beach store no longer carries these. I would know because I just checked. What do you got here, bud? Well, you know, if you're Frank, you'll talk about the road having crowning. If you're me, you will say this thing needs some help in the steering department. So I did get brand new tires put on this and I also got an alignment and I also got brand new shocks. So those are all good to go. But she does kind of wander a little bit. May it be because we have a steering wheel the size of a commercial bus. It could be. In here. <laughs> this is the biggest <laughs> steering wheel of all time. But uh, yeah, she goes down the road. That's all you did back in the 90s, you know? Yeah, but in the 90s, you know, you need a lot of leverage. Turns out hydraulic power steering, you don't need that much leverage. Right. But uh, she goes down the road just fine, dude. She bounces good. Oh, geez. She's got some good pull. Good pull. A little turbo. Uh, I heard it. Good. I didn't hear the. Yeah, it doesn't but, do that. Yeah. That was a dead deer. Uh, all right, listen, guys. Also, one thing, too, that I meant to mention in this unit is this has a period correct Eclipse CD player. If you pan down here, Frank, I would say period correct. Okay, it plays MP3. So this thing's probably from the mid 2000s. But what it does Whoa. have is it has a John Cougar Mellencamp greatest hits album. Are you gonna jam up to that or what? Well, here's the thing. I've driven this several times on six, seven hour road trips. This is the only CD I own. <laughs> <laughs> so I've learned a lot about John Cougar Mellencamp. Turns out he's from a small town, yep. and that's about all he talks about. So if you want to know about small towns, I'll leave the CD in here. But uh, we might need to find some CDs, or we might need to change the CD player. I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you guys think we should do? Do we get a period correct, like old school Pioneer? Do we switch it out to something even more old school, like OEM? Or do we track in her? But, uh, yeah, that's probably before this time. <laughs> or do we do like a new one, like a badass new one with like, you know, CarPlay and all that stuff on it? Yeah, no, CarPlay is nice. We put her in Maggie. Yeah, so just comment what you guys think you would want to see in something like this. Because I don't know. Like, for me, I look at it, I say period correct. But you might say, I want to see my Google Maps. So I don't know. Just comment that below. We're almost to O'Reilly's, dude. This sucker's driving great. I'm really excited. Oh, well, that worked good. Well, here's the deal. Battery's already dead. So this little two second ride we took was not worth it. So we got to figure out what kind of battery we need. Oh, uh, that one. What's that, it's a 75N, dude? Walmart special Duracell, N. I'm pretty this sure. This is a Duracell. But we're at the home of uh, Superstar O'Reilly's. I'd like to thank O'Reilly's for sponsoring this video. And by that, I mean thanks to my friend John for giving me a big discount account. Did you know Dickies makes floor mats. Dickies? Like my socks that I wear? <laughs> I don't know, but I think I, I want them. Sucker <laughs> needs floor mats, and look at this, on the back, it's a Velcro. Oh, I feel like that that's, that's carpet really floor. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. What do you say? Do we get the Dickies? They are, they're on a little pricey here, 40 bucks. Yeah. And I could get we, a cheap dog for 24. Yeah, but, but what get, if you have to buy them again? Right, then we get a discount, so. I'm not sure we're getting a discount, but we'll see. <laughs> Figuring out which one you want to scratch your truck up with? I'm gonna scratch the truck and all scratch, the scratch the truck. I don't know exactly what the best is. I feel like the pad's nice, the sponge is nice. I'm never gonna use the backside of this sucker. Okay. I don't know what's the right call. This one's cotton. Mm. What would you guys use? I, I go towards this one because I like the purple. Let's see that discount. I feel like we need these. No. What's happening? I have an idea for these. You can have whenever you're ready. First yeah, transaction ever. Car, car, oh yeah. Car. Well, what do you got, bud? I totally forgot that we got the Dickies. <laughs> amongst all the things and the giant discount on stuff. Dude, we saved like 75 bucks. We uh, got this figured out here, so. Yeah, it looks like you got it really figured are out. Are these worth a shit? 
I don't know. But we. Oh! What did you do? Hey! We're about to find out, dude. <laughs> yeah, them fit. Uh, Those fit like shit. Rather bad. I think we're already in it for 40 bucks, though. Good thing is, I think the floor mats in the Maggie are uh, yeah. a lot well, bigger. And we got this nice little spot to Ooh. reduce the action of the gas pedal. You know, save gas. Make your foot slip. We'll see if it works better on this side. Okay. Okay, I mean, that fits decent. What kind of decent? I think if we got a heat gun and just kind of laid her in there. Really? Hold on. I'm going to throw out these. Hey, I need that. It's not a cyclone, bud. All right. Uh, did you bring tools to change this battery? No, but... I got it. I'll be back. They'll figure that out for you. What did you, what did you get, buddy? Another, I don't know. <laughs> I said, I need like a battery removal thing. And they gave me this claw deal. Well, that's, I mean, that's exactly what it's meant for. That works good. But what I did get is a socket set. So nice. we are in a handicap zone. If there's three handicapped people here, I'll move. But We're not in a handicap. You're, well, kind of. Half inch. All right. This. Okay. Maybe a little 3 8 ratchet. You getting the right sizes? I got nine of my 16s here. Oh, well, that's good. This is weird. This is kind of ghetto. Okay. We're gonna lose those, guaranteed. Here, how about I try and not yeah, well, move? Well, you that. know, here's the deal. Oh shit, that don't look good. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, tank, tank, walla walla, bing bang. Cool. Yeah, that's like 20 bucks, probably. Eh? We went from a 75 to a 78. We're adding three. Which I think it's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Yeah, boy. It's like you knew what you were almost doing. I put a battery in before. Battery hold down, very important. Some people overlook this step. Down here, look at this. Little half inch dog. The sucker holds the battery down. Well, in Michigan, most of the time they just rot it out. So, <laughs> well, this, this one this isn't rotted out. Yeah, she ain't from Michigan, dude. She's look at that. that. Whole thing just kind of came apart, whatever. Strapped right in. If you took your hat off, we could see your face. Then you'd see my balding hairline. Which is why most guys wear hats. I know. Okay. Okay. That felt good. All right, moment of truth, Frank. It looked like it felt good. Is that other side tight? Yeah. Fire this sucker sure? up, dude. Ready? Hit yes, it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What Typhoon it? gods! Well. You acted so surprised that a new battery fired, fired right up. Man. Well, sometimes there's problems. Maybe the motor could have been cooked. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I always think about what the worst thing that could happen could be. And? You know? Well, in this case, it wasn't. We're good. Let's go. Well, touchless is broke down. Fuck a touchless, dude. I want to touch this sucker. I want to feel it. I want to be part of it. <laughs> let's uh, wash this thing, dude. We got ourselves a new mitt, got ourselves some new soap. We'll be all good. Uh, listen, I like to start a little bit unconventionally. You know, a lot of people soak the car or whatever. I just go straight to the brush. I feel like that's just the best way to do it. So. Just kidding, clearly. <laughs> you thought <laughs> I was going for it. I was like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This is one of the, I'm being one of those people right now that you hate to be behind when it's nice outside. But today is cold and windy and terrible, so. Ain't got much to worry about. Splash a little bit of that in there. You sure that was enough? Oh yeah, for sure. Concentrated right. big time. Just gonna rinse her down, get a little soap on her, come in with this mitt. You know the deal. What's going on here? What's going on here? Sucker went limp on us, dude. <laughs> you gotta hit the other button. There she is. Ah. It's still kind of limp.
15 minutes. I don't know how much of that I used. But Probably none of it. We washed the car <laughs> and it is beautiful. And then we're gonna do what we call a little speed drive. We're gonna go down the road, do some cruising. See how this thing feels with a new radiator cap, new battery. Maybe we unlocked a micro tenth of a horsepower. So <laughs> Mike was a tenth of a horsepower. We should feel the seat of There the was pants. a Tesla Plaid that just pulled through. We should have went on trying racing him. That was no Plaid, brother. Well, what was it? That was like a Model 3 long range rear wheel drive. Just well, so we probably would have got her? No. My calculations are right. At 88 mile an hour, we're going all, back. All of this stuff will blow off the car and we'll be, this thing will be driving in like three seconds. Back to where the 88 mile an hour, we can't do that. We can only go uh, 55. We can go 88, no problem, but I'm going to show you how it's done. I got the power of Lucas! It ain't even floored, dude. Look at that water just shedding. Oh, We're good. It's almost like you got ooh, rain -X on this, huh? No. No? No rain -X. That's the Carnuba. Brother, what's going on down here? All right, so. My feet are getting cold. Hit you with a hard fact. Part of the uh, things that we got to fix in this car, I don't know if it's a blend door problem. I don't know if it's a blower motor problem, but a boatload of air just blows in by the Yeah, heat. it's blowing my and it's on, it's on off. So oh. if we put it on heater, does it get warm? Or is it just air? It's just like an air. Okay, so yeah, we definitely gotta figure this out. This is, you know, this sucker's from 1993. We're going on 30 years old, so. I don't know what you're doing, but. We're boost launching, bud, ready for it? Oh yeah, yep. Oh! <laughs> she's, she's a going. That actually, it was, it feels pretty strong for. It's bone stock, dude. Bone stock. This is how it came in 1993. Well. Imagine that in 1993. Uh, I couldn't. People would lose their damn mind. Yeah, Third gen wrong. Camaro owners. Yeah. What in the tar nation is that <laughs> thing? <laughs> they didn't have a clue. Say what you want, boys. Sucker is clean. Look at this. Look at down the side of this sucker. That's from a standard ass car wash. This is a straight machine, dude. <laughs> You're not wrong. Where are we at, Frank? We're at Gabby's. This is our home. Not our home, but our, our favorite spot to come eat for lunch. It's kind of close to your shop, it's so. Close to our shop. Our boy Todd hooks us up really good every time we're in here. So. This is good food, dude. Yep. I love coming here. We got to treat ourselves too, because we just did a nice wash job. You did. Well, I, I mean, you were there. I You're a part of it. It's, I would, you know, filming. <laughs> You're probably going to cut all that out. So I'll just have a couple things. All right, get in there, dude. A little longer than a few minutes later. Or a nice and easy. Whoa! Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Ooh. Love that sound. Yeah, you might say to yourself, how did that do a burnout? Suckers all wheel drive. Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll still do burnouts, especially when your back brakes aren't tightened up properly. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Get this radiator hose, it's somewhere over here in the TMG storage facility. That's all good stuff over there. It's over there, over there somewhere. Come on in, Frank, stay a while. Okay. What are so we working what on? what you gotta do, dude. Looks like our uh, radiator hose has opened back up, so that's good. Hmm? We replaced the radiator cap. That sucker's looking dope. And the battery. We gotta get this sucker. Doing battery things. Oh, This yep. sucker in here. We've done that before. Boogly doogly doo, doogly boogly, doogly boogly doo. Yeah, we gotta figure out how to have this thing not get cut. Like, that's a real problem. Look at this belt, Frank. Look at the belt. Brother. What are you doing? We Do need it. a fresh belt. Uh, yeah. We got one, luckily. Got your gloves on, I see. Come on in, Frank. Come on in, he says. Listen, guys, it's important uh, whenever you're going to be working on anything with the cooling system to, to properly cool the vehicle down. That's why I waited roughly three seconds to do that. Let's see what happens here. Nothing. That's because I lied to you. It's been <laughs> over an hour. Anyway, uh, yeah, Torque. so radiator cap off. <laughs> we got to put this new sucker in. We also just saw moments ago this belt is absolutely boned. Luckily, I have, have one a new of these belt. in my Cyclone box. Oh, they're last, yep. Built to last. They're last. So, first things first with this sucker, you gotta get this intake pipe out of here. Now, you guys have seen once already, these intake pipes are basically held together by nothing but hopes and dreams. Years and years of Well, this heat. one's a lot better shape than the Cyclone. Well, you know, the Cyclone don't even have one anymore. Why did I take the radiator cap off? What was the point of that? Okay, that one. What is up with that? It's not a Philip. Okay, it's not, it, neither of them are. That one is. This is a Flathede. Oh, hey, 
That's a straight, yeah. Flathead. 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 Some what? people say flathead. It's actually pronounced flathead. Really? Yeah. That's why Phillips has such a weird name too. Philip Flathead. It's uh, it comes from the Latin names. Anyway. I'm learning all kinds of sorts of stuff today. Pretty crazy, right? Hmm. Imagine if that was true. Uh, okay. <laughs> So we've got this, take this off. Hopefully don't break the intake Yeah, you're going to break that. Ah, seems like it's going to break. Okay, what else is in the, the way? The other side, maybe? All that's in the way, all this is in the way. This is not the proper connector, son of a bitch! Why, it's just a nut. It should, have a, should have a finger turner. Finger turner. I need to get more tools. Okay, so this off. Okay, got that. This, please, slide out nicely. Yes! Ooh. Mm -hmm. Got that. Like it. Huh. We pretty, operated. Pretty fancy. You I'm love gonna, learning that light, don't you? I'm going to show you a picture <laughs> of what this looks like. <laughs> it's okay. like uh, E.T. or not E.T. Um, E.T. Fun home. Hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah. Anyway, now that I can't Look see that anything. Though. That's freaking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on this sucker quick here. We're back for the 15th time. I literally still can't see, but the light does help. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Okay. On to the next one. Everything's in the way over here. It's nice when the inside of your airbox is clean. Look at that. Mm, that is nice. Oh, this thing's got a K&N, dude. Check it out. 100 million mile warranty on if, them, right? If this was 1993, we would be excited. Don't break intake pipe. Please don't break. Okay, here we go. Coolant? Everywhere. I'll see you on the floor. Oh, I got a good pan down there for draining. Yeah, we're good. Nice. Mm hmm Yep. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you can just hear it going right into that bucket down there. Yeah. You didn't see what just happened because it was a little weird. <laughs> Moving on. He's calling it his hot snake. Yeah, I didn't say that. Well, you said something. Frank's words, not mine. Oh, okay. Come on with this hot snake for me. I mean, this tube real quick for me. <laughs> Oh my, what about oh, dude, you and your call from shutting Zach, phones dude. off? Zach. Michigan Dirt, dude. Huh? Ooh. Uh, now known as Dirt Dudes. Yeah, Dirt Dudes. That's how long you've been friends with them for. Hey, buddy. Yo, what's the good word? Oh, just working on some junk. Sucker's stuck, so we gotta grab it with something. We just gotta than... twist it a couple times, she'll come. Dude, I don't twist know about that. Forth. I don't know about that. Yeah, so let you do it. Ooh, well, I mean down a little lower, probably. Or like that works too. Twist the snake. Yeah, see, there you go. Keep twisting. Oh, yep. Oh. oh, there we go. Perfect. This might be an OEM hose, which never fun to get rid of, but especially in this condition. I it's keep this bad, thing. so we don't need it. Yeah, but I want to keep it as stock as possible, you know? Like, I don't even want to, like, I kind of want to take the K&N off and do like a regular paper air filter. You're silly. I don't know. I've been thinking about maybe not doing an exhaust on it either. You're silly. Got a catalytic converter and everything, dude. It's legal in all freaking 50 states. What do you guys think? Should I modify this thing at all? Or should we keep it stock? How would you want it? Would you want it to be modified or stock? There's just something about stock. I don't know. I guess you do have a point scene that already does have a converter on it. You know, keeping yeah, that might works. be all right. See you later. Okay, so now it's time <laughs> to get this belt off. Mm -hmm. Now there's no 3 8 input deal on the tensioner here like you'd normally have. So do you grab the nut on the tensioner pulley, or do you grab that? All I know is I need some more tools. Mm -hmm. Six, Soon, buddy, you'll be coming down. 14, right now, Nix is over there. We got it, bud. Are what you sure? What you meaning to tell me is this isn't a 9 16 this isn't a 5 8 this isn't a 14 it's a 15 Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I got you the proper tools now. This is like a 180 thick freaking bar here. Yep, that's a uh, clapped out uh, cage. Clapped out cage, wow. How is that thing so quick with a cage so heavy? Anyway, okay, so. Look at that. Now just go down rod, there. Dude. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Let's look at this and make sure we can figure out the belt routing. Oh wait, oh wait, oh. Is it nowhere? Oof. Ah, sh Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Over, under, under, over, over, under, under, over. Okay, guys. How are you going to get the belt out of there, too? 
Dude, give me a minute. Do you know that process? Hot rod garage, bro. Give me a hot sec. All right. I'm gonna start the car up, let it fling itself off, and all right, we're good. Okay. Another loopy loop. You're gonna have to come through the uh, around the fan. First off, we have to make sure we got the right belt. Yeah, that's probably not it. This is a Poly V belt Duralast, straight from our friends at AutoZone. Not O'Reilly's, therefore it's probably junk. Oh, poor guy, dude. Is it? They got it right this time. <laughs> over, under, over, over, under, over, over, under, under, over. Just look at the pulleys and you got, you know, you got traction and not traction. So teeth, yeah, inside teeth or outside. on the teeth where the teeth can't go, because if the teeth can't, who can't teeth? Yeah, obviously. Oh yeah, hmm. So it's got to go around to get yeah. to the crank shove. Mm -hmm. The crank William. Can you fire it up quick? And I can just just throw it, spin it on. Yeah. I'll go do that right now. Okay, thanks. Wait, no, Frank, no. Wait. I got it. I got this. It'll just go. It'll work. It'll work. Listen, guy. I know what I'm doing. I've done this before. Did I show you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just fire things up and they just roll themselves together. And the coolant. How did... I'm not going to question it. Good job. Boom. Check for tools. Check for tools. Mm, you good. guys ever drop a hood on a tool and it puts a big dent in the hood? Done that one time. Feels bad. On what? On my blazer when I was like 16. Oh. Ouch. That might have been too high. Anyway, mm. she's good. Uh, listen, this guys, thing is so cool looking. Black. This is badass. Black on black. I like the black wheels too. Some people don't like those, right. but I think it works well on this car. I do too. So obviously you guys might have picked up by now that we are looking to maybe get rid of this thing to someone that might be buying something that uh, you were, you know, that you would have bought and you guys would be entered to win. Anyways, read between the lines on that deal. But thank you to these people over here. Frank, look at these wonderful names. Scroll we love every one of them. Screen. So nice, so happy that you guys are doing that for us. And they're still growing. It's growing too, which is nuts. And uh, yeah, we're at a lot of support, which is awesome. And it means the world to us because that allows us to continue what we're doing. Give back, get you guys some cool stuff. If you're wearing a hoodie and you're hanging your aviator sunglasses from your hoodie and you go to take your hoodie off without removing your sunglasses. Don't. You, you turn into Harry Potter by cutting your forehead. <laughs> Pretty stupid. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Be like Frank. He has no cuts on his forehead. His hands look like they've been put through a meat grinder, though. Terrifying. Anyway. What are you looking uh, at? What do you see? <laughs> I'm looking at your hands. Those things are scary. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, yeah, more on this soon. we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, too. This weekend, we are going to some more badass. Yeah. Super duper uber duper. They don't call it Supercross anymore. What do they call it? Isn't there like a different name for it? Well, it's called Supercross. Supercross, but it's like the series, this and that series. Who knows? Yeah, uh, yeah we're meeting up with our good yeah. friend Corey. We just got the 450 all fixed up back there, so yeah, Frank's I should going be for able his to... pro license. You're right. Finally, he's gonna see if how many times he can get lapped in a heat. Anyway, <laughs> not happening, bud. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to work on the Maggie this week too, and then we also got some cool, pretty cool stuff for our machines sitting right behind me that I can see. No, in front of me, behind Frank. Behind you. Don't look that way. Don't look that way. No. Don't look that way, he said. You can't see the stuff because I was lying. It's not actually there. It's in my car, but you know. <laughs> anyway. All right. See so you guys. Thank you, everyone over here. Yes. Been, and, uh, already gone. you know, what else, Frank? I mean, we can just put in here. Thanks again to Derek Rose, like DNR Customs. Like, whoo. Yeah, I feel like we go said, to that website and just check it out. Yeah. I mean, he's trying to sell stuff on his website. He yeah. put uh, a lot of money into that truck for us. We put roughly zero dollars in. The most expense I had in that entire thing was getting gas in my vehicle to go to DNR Customs. But right. past that, he's been doing the whole thing. So huge thanks to uh, Derek and AJ and the entire crew there and Fleece and BD and whoever else is working on that truck. We're super jacked to take that thing to Cletus and Cars, do a little burnout. Yeah. See if we can burn out the tires, not burn out the motor. You know how that goes. But uh, all right. Bye, Frank. Bye. Wait, oh, should I turn it around so I can find myself? Bye. <laughs> now you know how I've been feeling this whole time. <laughs>